Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for today's Lunch and Learn. I'm Keith Armour. I'm the Education and Homework Support Manager down here at the Main Library in the Adult Learning Center. Last week we, start, we started talking about gardening um, and this is the second part of that where I'm going to show you a lot of resources that the library has. It's just a click away for you. Uh, but let's review really quickly a couple of things. Number one, this is the time to plan. It's not the time to plant. Uh, you need to wait. Um, they usually say right around the beginning of May, Mother's Day, sometimes they say that. Uh, but don't forget we're in zone six. So this is the time to really start doing some things before. Um, you have to decide why do you wanna start gardening? Um, who's the primary gardener? Who's gonna do all the work? And what do you wanna plant? Do you wanna plant flowers? Do you wanna plant vegetables? And where are you gonna put your garden? Where is it going to have the most sun, six to eight hours of sun each day? And um, when are you gonna plant? You're gonna plant definitely, probably sometime in May. Um, don't forget we're in zone six. You could start doing your seeds indoors um, and there's a lot of different videos out there that can show you the proper way to um, start seeds. I haven't been really successful with that, but hopefully you will. But let's go ahead and look at the materials that we have that you can just go ahead and click and find through the library's website. All right, let's go take a look. All right, we've arrived at our website, cincinnatilibrary.org. I did want to put a little shout out here for our pre-HSE test prep for adults. Um, it was written by one of my colleagues, uh, Chelsea, in the Education and Homework Support Department. And um, this is all about having um, access for individuals that are kind of thinking about um, either studying for the GED or studying for the high set um, to earn their high school diploma. This is like before you start studying for those particular tests. Um, it just is a refresher course. Um, if you're interested or if you know someone that's interested, there'll be a link um, and you can sign up for that. You can read the entire article. I'll provide that in the link for you, okay? So we're getting back to gardening and we did create a very nice list of books. These are This is not the most comprehensive list of the materials, uh, but we tried to put together a list of books um, that are fairly recent, um, that's also in the book form and also um, an ebook form. So you've got some uh, gardening book from 2020, you've got uh, a gardening ebook, uh, here's another gardening, 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 a lot of gardening. Here's the all new square foot gardening that I talked about last week. I found that method to be very, very easy, um, and uh, it has a lot of components to it, um, but it was a, literally, I felt like it was a maintenance-free garden once you set it up. And um, so we've got all of this list here and a lot of things to choose from, because now is the time to plan your garden. Um, and to do some preliminary work. Do not be tempted by the wonderful weather that we had this past weekend and early part of the week uh, where you're thinking, oh, I'm gonna start planting things. It's not a good time to plant. Usually you plant um, plants out in uh, May in this area. So just keep that in mind. So the list is pretty comprehensive, but there is a second page to the list because there's a total of 45 items. And I just wanna point out that you have all sorts of things. I, gardening for kids, if you could get kids involved, they're gonna do a lot of STEM activities. They're going to do science, technology, engineering, and math um, when they're doing gardening with you. And that's a great way to get them involved. And also later on, a great way for them to eat more vegetables, because when they grow it, they're gonna probably eat it more than, that, more than likely. Um, this is a great book, The Guide to Ohio Vegetable Gardening. 
and then you've got all of these other things down here. Now, in this list now, I also included one of the best local resources, and that's Cincinnati Civic Garden Center. And I went ahead and bookmarked their website here. And it is, they, they just do such a phenomenal job uh, there's all sorts of different things. You can go to their video channel, you can go to their newsletter, um, and you can explore other things as well. You can, of course, look at their about their history, and you can look at their community gardens. Now, one thing that I think is great is having a community garden. I do not have... Um, enough space in my yard at my house to actually grow a vegetable garden. So the uh, Civic Garden Center of Greater Cincinnati, what they've done is they've uh, put together a list, how to use this locator map, and these are all the different, all the different community gardens in the area, and they've got them all listed for you and you can just click on one and you're going to find more information about that now this map is from 2020 uh, but more than likely those gardens are still going to be involved are still going to be out there the other thing they have on here of course is uh, grow your own food and that's a great website to look at and um, they even have even started listing their classes over here. So they've got a great list of getting started. So you've got seed starting, container gardening. And if I just clicked on here, it's going to give me a short video on container gardening. And remember, it's the Cincinnati Civic Garden. So it is local. Um, it is going to tell you things that uh, matter to Zone 6 gardening, and they're great experts. They do a wonderful job. Here's backyard gardening. It starts with soil, soil testing, and then moving all the way down to winterizing your garden, and um, they just have so many great things. Now, if I go over under core programs, I can see they also have school gardens, and um, garden lessons. Now, we're going to go over to learn and we're gonna click on just their classes. So here are their March classes and uh, we've got uh, garden bed preparation and that's what you should be doing now is preparing your garden area. I'm gonna expand my uh, square foot gardening to a bigger uh, I'm going to actually double the size of it, and I'm doing most of that in April. I've already purchased some things, and then I'm going to um, then um, double the size of my square foot garden in um, April. So that's a perfect time. I'm not going to plant anything, but I'm preparing the ground. Here are some wonderful classes that they have coming up. You could even do garden construction, and um, all of these right here, and they have classes in May and don't forget about the cicadas that are coming and they'll tell you a lot of uh, info interesting things there and they even have descriptions of each one of their classes down here as well so we'll um, the, their their website is just chock full of information that you're going to find useful and they are going to give you some great information I had done one class before and they gave me a list of uh, vegetables that would be they could be grown in the Cincinnati area and actually down to when is a great time to plant those and should they be planted inside as seeds and then transplanted or should they be um, sown directly into the soil in your garden from the, the seeds there. They've just got great information. They also do a huge, um, let's see if it's on the, oh, there it is, uh, events. Let's go to events down to their plant sale. And they usually have this big plant sale and they are having it in 2021 and you can they have the whole area just filled with different vendors selling plants 
and uh, they'll have more information on that. That's a big fundraiser for them as well, but you can really get some really good plants um, that you know that are going to survive. Um, and here at the plant sale, you see all the different things they have. They even have baked goods, um, and they have all sorts of different things, uh, and even used books and magazines too. So if you have not checked out uh, the Cincinnati Garden Center of Greater Cincinnati, they are just a wealth of information uh, that's just a click away. Now, another thing that I put on here on the book list is Epic Gardening. It's a YouTube channel, and um, the mission is uh, to help 100,000, uh, 100 million people plus around the world to learn how to grow fresh, healthy food no matter where they live. And I really like the way that um, Kevin here um, does Epic Garden. Um, you can find a video on almost everything um, from pruning your tomatoes uh, to growing this to potted versus bare root fruit trees. Um, just a wealth of stuff. Uh, nine raised bed mistakes. Um, here's a, a new one that he had, well, it was new to me the other day, but it was actually made four years ago. How to build cheap do-it-yourself raised bed gardens. And um, even this one on how to fill a raised bed and save 60% on the cost. And he talks about Mel's Mix, which is part of the square foot gardening method. And that Mel's Mix is wonderful. It's like peat moss, vermit delight, and uh, compost. And it really is a wonderful mix. But it can be expensive, especially if you're going to fill up something uh, that's really big, like um, these garden um, uh, raised beds that he has. The only drawback, and here's all about container gardening here, the only drawback um, to Epic Gardening is that he is, uh, he does live in the San Diego area, so obviously that is not our zone, but I just like his demeanor, I like the information he has, and um, it, it's just one of the best channels. So that's why I included that in there as well. So moving on, um, I did include also in the list, let me go back to the list. This one right here is gardeners.com. And let's take a look here. In gardeners.com, now the reason why I included it is because I really love this design your own garden. However, um, it is under construction, and I was hoping that it would um, get out of construction and it would be ready for you, but I liked this a lot, and it was great because you just dragged and dropped crops into a, a, a gardening grid, and it just fills it in for you. Now, they've got the pre-planned gardens here. If we click here, you'll see that um, they give you some different ideas of pre-planned gardens, okay? And you can click and view the garden. Here's a garden fun for kids. If you view that garden, there's a cucumber farm. And this is kind of the grid that I was talking about, okay? So there's some really cool things on this site um, that's going to give you some really good things. Now, the other thing I do like about this site, and I'm going to click back, to this page. Right down here, a lot of times when you're doing raised uh, beds, especially you want to try to figure out how much soil you need to get when you go to the store. So right here is a great soil calculator and um, it's for a raised bed or even a, a, a pot or an elevated planter. And you just decide what shape, rectangle, square, or circle and then you're going to take the measurement and then it's going to calculate how many cubic yards of soil you need and how many cups of fertilizer you might need as well. So I really like this site um, because it has a whole bunch and obviously they do want you to buy some of the things but I thought this site was really really helpful uh, for me and it even has this vegetable encyclopedia right here 
where you can look at each one of the vegetables and let's pick the all-time favorite is well the favorite in my house is tomatoes if you pick tomatoes it's going to show you all sorts of different varieties of tomatoes and then it's going to talk about determinate and indeterminate uh, varieties and um, it's going to break it down into each category here and I just found this very very useful so that's why I included this website in the book list um, hopefully they will get um, back to where they have the information on building your garden because I always thought that was so great you could just say I'm going to plant tomatoes here 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 and it would fill it out for you and it would show you the spacing for um, especially using square foot gardening so definitely check that out now let's go back to our website and we're going to come up here to stream and download over here and we're going to go to Libby and we're going to use the browser and under subjects we're going to scroll down until we get to the nonfiction area and we're going to go right over here there's 236 items under gardening and you'll notice you've got mini farming bible you've got the no waste compost beginner's guide to growing great vegetables and remember if up here it's a wait list and it's amazing how fast um, the books turn over um, right here grow veg uh, a guide to easy gardening that's available that's in an ebook form and most of these books are on uh, on as uh, the item is an ebook because you really want to see it now here's an audiobook on how to plant how to make a plant love you well that's interesting that's an audio book but here's a grow bag and if you don't have a lot of space you of course can just grow buy some grow bags here's uh, the dummy series which gardening basics and there's just so much here and you can place holds on any of these items and remember if you go um, right here let's say uh, vegetables love flowers click here and of course you can read a sample of the book of the material to see if you want to do it she looks like a wonderful farmer wonderful gardener and a lot of times they will show uh, the table of contents now here they're not showing me the table of contents but they're letting me read the book and it has a lot to do with flowers and how to incorporate flowers into your garden now of course I could place that on hold I could look at the details here to see that this book was released in 2018 um, and they even give me some other books that are available here's urban gardening here is gardening for dummies here's available and here's vegetable gardening okay and I know I'm kind of focusing on vegetables uh, because that's where my brain is but there's a lot more of the gardening books that are here um, not just for vegetables but also uh, for flowers as well so there's 236 in this collection okay now when, since, since we're already here at Libby let's go over here to the magazine section we're going to click here and the subjects change again over here because we're under the category of magazine so I click here and I have to scroll down and I'm going to look for home and garden now there's 258 home and garden but you'll notice that um, some have to do just with home and some have to do with garden and so it's collection all the way through now I did notice um, there are some international titles as well so definitely check those out if you are an international uh, individual and you can read in a, a another language but on page two I notice um, two that are very very popular you've got uh, flower and this is the April of uh, the March and April issue you also have the pioneer woman I know a lot of people like 
uh, watching the Pioneer Woman. Um, and also you have HGTV is here. And then you have Better Homes and Gardens down here. Now, another one that I wanted to point out, and I think it's on the third page. Let me go one more page over because I really thought this was a good one. Oh, right here, Amateur Gardening. If I click on this one, now this is the March uh, 2021 issue. If I click here, and remember, all of the magazines are available all the time. So you just need a library card. Remember, if you don't have a library card, give us a call, 369-6900, and you can get a library card. But here is, um, you're going to see all sorts of different things. Let's look at the sample here. Read a sample. And look, here's reviving and replanting pots and containers, sweet corn, and if I keep moving on, there's an advertisement, advertisement, that's not great. Oh, here is the table of contents. But what I also noticed that was really cool about this one, and this has actually uh, gardening, your gardening week, and they talk about how to perk up your perennials. And remember, a perennial is a plant that you plant one time and it comes back. Hopefully it comes back um, our winter wasn't too severe, um, but this is a really great way to save money because this magazine tells us how to actually, if, if your perennial plant is overgrown, this is a great opportunity, especially in the spring, to split that plant. And that takes you step by step by step to split the plant and actually save some money and uh, make your perennial a lot happier. So remember, all you have to do to check out this is click borrow and you've already checked out the magazine, okay? Now, I wanna point out really quickly, let me go back to stream and download. Let's go to Hoopla, because I'm running out of time and Hoopla is coming up and I'm gonna go up here to search everything and I'm just gonna type in gardening and hit return. And there's actually 48 items for gardening. Now, all of these right here, all always, always they're available. Um, you just have to have a Hoopla account and remember with the library card, you have one and um, you can check out these at any time. You've got uh, super simple kitchen gardens. Maybe you don't have a lot of space, but you do have some space in your, a kitchen window where you can grow something. A super uh, simple salad garden. Um, and these are just real quick right here. Here is square foot gardening right here, and it's always available. Um, now, granted, some of these right here you might not want to pick simply because uh, of um, the fact that they're from Florida or Texas, um, and you're not going to be able to grow those kind of plants. But right here, if I want to take a square foot gardening, the answer book, which is new to me, I'm going to click that and I'm going to hit borrow. And this is new information from the creator of the square foot gardening method. And I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna borrow it. So I borrowed that title. And that title, I'll have that title available to me for 21 days. And then it automatically uh, disappears from my device. But definitely check out Hoopla for those um, uh, items that are always available. Okay, I'm going to go back to click and stream and go down to one more and you know where I'm going to go because I go to it a lot is Canopy. I'm going to click on browser. I'm going to look at it through my computer and I'm just going to type up here gardening. Now I could go ahead and click on these, but I'm going to just click on the subject right here and there are several different items here, but look at this one. It says garden science weeding out the myths. And this is episode one of science of gardening. And here is plan the garden of your dreams. Oh, I think I want that one. Let's click that. And this actually has uh, six episodes, six episodes in this series. And they're going to help you plan your garden of your dreams, 
get the right plant for the right place, prepare healthy soil and uh, plant for spring, not plant for March, but plant for spring, uh, design for light, water, and a microclimate, and then refresh your summer garden and then add a new color in fall and prep for winter. Something that I need to read. I do not seem to prep for winter very well. But these episodes are about 30, a little more than 30 minutes. They were produced back in 2013, so they're still good. And remember, because it is a great course, it does not count towards your 20. Um, and that's a wonderful resource, of course, to check out as well. Okay, so I think I've given you a lot here. You've got the wonderful book list that we'll put in um, your, we'll add that to the links. You've got their, the wonderful link to the Civic Garden Center. And if you have not checked them out, I highly recommend you check them out and check them out in person. They've got some great uh, gardens. Uh, they're a great garden that's right there over uh, off the Taft, uh, off the Taft uh, Road. And that's a great place to check out. And of course, community gardens and everything local is through the Civic Garden Center. Um, and then, of course, Epic Garden is one of my favorite YouTube channels when it comes to gardening. They're not really long episodes. Um, and um, I think the way that he delivers the information is really uh, makes sense to me. Um, then there's, of course, the Kitchen Garden Planter. And hopefully this will come uh, open or get constructed and be out there and really help you out. Um, and then, of course, you've got all of the streaming devices as well. One more thing before I close out and uh, turn off my computer and switch the camera back on. I do want to point out that we have a virtual class that's coming up on April the 5th and also on April the 24th. And it's just um, spending time outside has become essential this past year. And a lot of us have explored parks, hiking trails and other natural escapes. Uh, maybe you've noticed new plants on your adventures. Well, Taylor uh, is going to show you um, Spring Flowers of Cincinnati. And that is a virtual program. And that's from 2 to 3. And that's on April the 5th. And then she's going to repeat the program on April the 24th on a Saturday from uh, 12 until 1. So definitely check that out as well. All right, I'm going to click out and tell you a few more things. That's a lot of stuff that we have that's just a click away. Um, don't forget, in the links, there will be the link for um, the book list that has all of those great resources that are there. And also, Epic Garden is there, too. He's one of my favorites uh, to watch. He gives really good information. Um, the only flaw with him, of course, is that he is way out in San Diego, and that is definitely not zone <laughs> six. But I think it gives her some really good um, uh, information back and forth. And do not, do not forget about the Cincinnati Civic Garden Center. They have a wealth of information. Talk about something that is local, something that is very, very helpful. Um, you can definitely sign up for a class through them. We apologize our class filled up too quickly, but they've got some classes on a variety of different things. And of course, they also have all of those resources. They do a big uh, plant sale too, so don't forget about that. And of course, all of the things that are just a click away from your library, um, Libby, a whole set of books. And don't forget about those magazines like uh, Better Homes and Gardens and um, Amateur Gardening. Those are some really great magazines that are always available. And speaking of always available, Hoopla, all of their gardening books are always available and also for you. And that canopy course, if you'd rather just stay in the comfort of your home and uh, watch some videos from the great courses, there is that plan the garden of your dreams. And it has six episodes and you can just watch that. You don't even have to worry about messing up your count on canopy. Um, you can still sign up for our Cincinnati Spring Flower class. We are going to highlight some spring flowers. Taylor's going to take that, uh, give that to you. 
and uh, present that to you on April the 5th, and then she's going to repeat it on April the 24th. Now, next week, I can hear it. I can get the excitement. The excitement is baseball is back. Um, the Cincinnati opening day, which is not the same as usual opening days, but we're going to get there eventually. But uh, the cards come into town on April the 1st. So I thought next week's um, Lunch and Learn would all focus on baseball and, of course, the rich history that Cincinnati has when it comes to baseball. So tune in next week for Lunch and Learn. I'll see you next week.